Whoa, Roxanne Wolf, is that? Hello, what are you doing? Yeah, never mind, come here, girl. Ah, what the? OG fan. Why is it that whenever I'm trying to sleep, you find a new way to break into my house? Well, that's only because I care about you so much. Anyway, you need to make more attack prediction videos. Well, what if I don't make these videos? Oh, you don't want to make the videos? That sucks. I guess I'll just go hang out with Roxanne Wolf then. Wait! Ugh, fine, I'll do it, okay? That's the spirit. Alright, here you go, G fan. <sighs> I hate that guy. If you've seen part one, welcome back. But for any newcomers, this is a series where I talk about characters I want in Kaiju Universe and what I think their attacks could be. Kicking off the second episode, I want to talk about a pretty overhated character in my opinion, Zilla, or Godzilla 1998. If you don't know who Zilla is, I recommend checking out this kaiju profile video by Wikizilla. Let's get his stats out the way. He has 3,250 HP, the same walking speed as Jet Jaguar, and he doesn't have any abilities. For Zilla's size, just use this video as a reference. Before we actually get to the attacks, I just want to talk about something. In Zilla's debut film, he's more speed than he is defense and uh, strength, so I want to build his moveset off of that, meaning he'll be one of the fastest runners and one of the fastest swimmers. Got it? Okay. Time for the best part, the attacks. For his first attack, he uses both of his arms to swipe at anything in front of him. The cooldown is fast, so this is a pretty spammable attack. For his second attack, Zilla just does a basic bite doing a lot of damage. It doesn't have a very fast cooldown, but it can be comboed with the first attack. For his third attack, Zilla charges at his opponent head first, kind of like Jet Jaguar Beta's third attack. It has a really long cooldown. For Zilla's fourth attack, he jumps into the air and kicks anything in front of him. This isn't a very spammable attack, but it does okay damage. For his fifth and final attack, he uses Power Breath. In the movie, it was flammable air, but it's a video game. We have to take some creative liberties here. It has a pretty high cooldown. I said earlier in the video that Zilla is a very fast character, so here's a demonstration of his running speed. And here's a demonstration of his swimming speed. Rounding up the review, we have the requirements. I don't think Zilla would be a custom kaiju, so for his requirements, it would just be 50,000 G cells. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys.